Back on the record, 404, just two. All right, Mr. Taylor, I'm going to show you Exhibit 1. Okay. I'm going to ask you if this is what you have referred to as the residential center. I see it for you, Nancy. <coughs> Yes, this is. <coughs> okay, and you can tell me how many pages are on that exhibit? It's. Uh, uh, six? Six. 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 And is it accurate that all those pages are pictures of the residential center? Exactly. Okay. Okay. And what do you want? Six. Oh, I thought you just did. I looked at page one. Is that also referred to as the ministry house? Uh, it could be, yeah. Uh, I mean, yes. Yes. But we usually say professionally residential center, so. But sometimes it's referred to as the ministry house? Yes. Mm -hmm. And is there any other place that's referred to as the ministry house? Um, I think the, there's another location uh, where um, the ministry have already, I think, started buying a place, and uh, it's a place for some of the staff where they stay, you know, where I, I provide a place. If someone wants to do intern in the ministry, so I provide a place for Where's them that? to stay. It's in St. Louis. And what's the address for that? Um, you know, I don't know. I, I don't have that because it's recent, so it's, it's not. Would you be able to provide that? Yeah, we can provide with, that for um, you. Mm -hmm. The other documents you're going to give me before your next deposition? Of course, yes, exactly. And uh, j just for the record, I would note um, over Mr. Jenkins' statements that we dispute that my client is glaring or doing anything inappropriate. He is looking at David Taylor, a.k.a. the prophet, I'm sorry, the apostle, because that is the person who is speaking. And he is not rolling his eyes. He is talking to me on occasion, which is perfectly acceptable for him to talk to his attorney. I would just like the record to reflect that. So back to the questions. The record uh, reflects that he's been making statements in regularly, verbally, while he's been sitting there. Right, to me. While you're talking. I hear mm -hmm. him. No, while you're talking. That's and, fine. And, and also he has another attorney sitting next That's to him. That's fine. Okay. I'm sitting right across from him, so. That's fine. I'm just I've, asking you I've to indicated control, that I don't. My, my request was to control your client. So my request is that you stop unnecessarily objecting. My client has done nothing wrong. He has a lawyer sitting on each side of him, and he on occasion speaks to me or to the other attorney, and there's nothing wrong with that. My All right, Mr. Are Taylor. Known, and um, can still maintain. You don't know the address of the place that is also sometimes called Ministry House? Uh, no. And tell me the purpose of this place. Uh, it's a it's a, um, a residence that we bought that um, or that we're in the process of buying to, that gives uh, young aspiring preachers and ministers a place to uh, to stay while they're an intern in our ministry, being trained. Has Deborah Fraser ever stayed there? Uh, she's come over there. Um, what do you mean she, she's come over? There? She's visited and come over, I'm sure. Um, but you don't know the address? No, it's too recent for me. It, when you say it's recent, when did that start? Uh, maybe a year, two, something like that. Yeah. I just don't know, so. I'm going to show you what you provided as um, the balance sheet and ask you to indicate where on this this building is represented. What building? Well, you just said well, you were in the process of buying a ministry house. Um, where would it show up on the asset and liability? Well, it wouldn't because it's we're leasing it right now. Uh, so it's a liability. I don't know if they put it on here. Well, what do you mean um, you're in the process of buying? Does that mean that you Well, yeah, we're in stages till we can buy. That's what I mean. Maybe okay, I I'm need not to sure rephrase what that. that. Means. Um, you know, before we um, just pay off something, we we lease it until you know, we have enough money to be able to do that. 
Okay. Would that make sense to you? Not much. Um, okay. So is it your testimony that you are leasing this piece of property? Yes. And how much do you pay a month? Um, actually, I, I don't know. My, my financial um, board knows all of those Who's things. your financial board? Um, those three that I gave you there. They're your board? No, I said financial board. That means right. a certain area. They, they handle a certain area. The financial board is the Different from the board of the JMMI. Okay, but when you refer to them as a board. Well, maybe I ought to rephrase that since you're tripping over that. Let's say um, they are financial administrators. Is that, does that make sense? You tell me if it makes sense. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so do you see anything regarding this ministry house on the asset and liability sheet? No, it, I don't think it would be on here because um, it, it might be. Uh, I don't see it as, as of now. Um, Can you describe this place? It's, it's, uh, it's just a residential home. It's another house? Yes, it's like a home, but it's... What do you mean it's like a home? Oh, well, I mean it's a home. It is a home? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, is it at uh, 2036 Victory Way Lane? 2036, no, no, no. What's no. a 2036 Victory Lane? I don't know, that's a that's an address, 28. It has nothing to do with your ministry at all? Mm -mm. You got to answer yes or no. No. Mm -mm. So it uh, you don't have any connection to two zero three six Victory Lane. No way. My my you know apartment is two o eight. I mean two thousand eight Victory Way Lane. Okay. So I, that sounds like another address over in that area, but that's not. That's not I have nothing to do with that. <clears throat> and that's not where the ministry house is. No, that's the those are condominiums. Okay. Victory and Lane. Yes. Mm -hmm. it, so this ministry house, you've been the ministry the JMMI has been leasing. Yes. Okay. Now, are you? The head of JMMI? Yes. And and you don't know where this place is? Uh -huh. I know where it is. I just don't know the address. I don't want to give you any wrong details like I did the first time. All right, can you it's tell recent. me, give me the description of where it is? Uh, it's in Florissant, Missouri. Right. I know that. Mm -hmm. Cross streets? Uh, yeah, it's a neighborhood. Mm -hmm. What are the cross streets? I don't. I don't know that. But I, like I said, I'll provide you with the information after this is over with. Who owns this residence? Um, I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's some guy. I, I, don't, I don't know him. Did you arrange for this lease? No. Who, who I have, have a done financial that? board who does those things. Those three people you referred to with Michelle and yes. the other person's Financial name. Financial administrative people. And so you're saying they, but don't you have to sign the lease? Uh, no, I'm not the only one that can sign. I have a board, board members who are on that can sign. So you didn't sign this lease? Um, you know, I don't even know. Can you give me a copy of the lease? Um, is that necessary? Uh, yeah, I would object to the relevance of providing a document to a lease okay. of property. Okay. Good. It has nothing to do with you. <laughs> Actually, it does. Um, we've been unable, despite a court order, to get an address uh, as to where the ministry is and uh, we'll give you what addresses. the locations do. You have, you <laughs> give me addresses. No. You have an address? I have one address for one thing. Page drive. Right, but I, uh, nobody's giving me an address for what's referred to as a ministry house where people who are participating in the ministry go and live and are provided a residence by Mr. Taylor. Well, we said we'll provide that. I just don't know it. <coughs> so it's not a problem. 
So What's you not shouldn't a make a big deal. I mean, we're going to give you the address. R right. I'm asking for I just a copy don't know of the now. lease. I don't, I don't have that information on me now. Okay. Have you ever been there? Oh, uh, yes, the of course. Reflect another comment being objection by a comment. Under oath, he doesn't know the streets. That's commentary. That's not assisting you. I but asked for that, that to stop. He it spoke to her, he, his he attorney. It, he made it out loud. Well, you have, if you it's talk, it's point, out loud. If he wants to assist you <laughs> in the deposition, crazy, that's man. fine. But the commentary is inappropriate. <laughs> I've done depositions for years. I've never had so somebody sit and, yes. and start to make Please. comments like this. Like he this. is my, my, my client. <laughs> I am his attorney. And um, so is the, the other person sitting on the other side, Mr. Utuma. The personal so, excuse commentary me, don't is interrupt, please. I'm, Do I'm not, not interrupt. No, I'm talking. That's and I'm right. Making an I was talking. <laughs> and I'm making an objection. That's right. And it's just that's inappropriate. We, we it disrespects the deposition. Okay. We dispute your characterization. Unfortunately, it's videotaped, so we shouldn't have a problem. I concur that it's disruptive. That's fine. I would also note that the deponent is at the far end of the table for Mr. Yatuma, who my client is speaking to. So I don't think it's disruptive. No. I can hear the comments. Okay. The comments are not facilitating questions of what you're talking about. They're commentary about the, 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 what the deponent's saying. That's fine. That's not appropriate. In your opinion. There's no, show me a a party, on that. Okay. There's no a party is pressure. not allowed to speak. He can attend. He's not allowed to speak at the deposition. I don't we think. Don't need to, this, is, this is silly. It is. He, he's making a comment that the opponent doesn't know an address that he's owned for two years to his attorney. That's what he's saying to me. The deposition is being and conducted by the attorneys, not, not by the this. clients. Not On by the video, clients. Which I think only hurts the opponent. But again, if, if do you have an objection? Of, all of his words. Do you have an objection? Know, no, I'm then state to you. your objection if you have one. I have an objection to you. Well, I'm responding to you. I've stated the objection. Okay. It's for the record. All right, so back to the ministry house. You don't know who you leased it from. Like I say, I have a, I have a. I'm just asking you, do you know who you leased it from? Let me finish answering you. Um, I don't, I have a vast ministry, so I don't know everything always that goes on. I know overall, but I have people who take care of those things. So, um, you know, I will get that for you, so that's no problem if we can move on from that question. All right, so this ministry house, you're saying you are providing residence for people that are in training? Yes, okay. aspiring ministers. Is Deborah Frazier one of those people? Uh, no, she lives here, right? Does she ever stayed there at the ministry house? She's the come by there. The people come by and see each other and so I, she don't stay there no she's never spent the night there not that I know of has she ever done any ministry work there um, I I'm not sure I'm, I couldn't say who would know that um, maybe Michelle was Michelle's primary um, location that she works in, in Taylor or in St. Louis? Uh, St. Louis. Okay. So when she's in St. Louis, what facility does she work out of? Um, actually, I would like to rephrase that. I think I would say both because she comes back and forth up here to do, in the offices to do things, but uh, her laptop she uses at her own home. Okay, and does she have a residence in St. Louis? Yes. Okay. Now you're where Debbie Frazier frequently goes to St. Louis several yes. times a month? Yes. Okay. I don't know if it's several times a month. For oh, several days a month. Okay. That Would that be more accurate for you? I'm not sure, uh, but you don't I do know? know she comes. I know she comes to St. Louis. How many time, How many days a month would you um, approximate that she goes there? I couldn't say. You have no idea? And I couldn't say accurately, no. Does she see you when she goes to St. Louis? No. She doesn't see you? No. If she's there, I may be out of town, or if she is there and we see each other, it's briefly. More, but I don't, I don't see her like that. No. 
What is your understanding of the work that Deborah Fraser does when she's in St. Louis on your behalf? Um, well, like I say, I have executives and administrators administrating their work and doing that, so I'm not, my hands is not in everything. So I, I can't, I can't say. You have no idea what Deborah Fraser does when she's in St. I, Louis? I know she's a great worker and she really But doing helps. what? I share with you what I do know and like I said to you, if you want to know more, you have to ask my executives. And who would that be? Uh, Michelle Brannon is one. Michelle is an executive and also the financial board? No, she's not the financial board. She sits, she administrates with other financial people. So it's that financial administration, those who are surrounding that, taking care of that. All right, I guess I don't understand. You, s you refer to Michelle as being on a financial board? Yeah, you know, I rephrased that. I said administration. I think that would be better for you to understand. All right, so um, there's three people in the financial administration, those three people you listed with Michelle? Yes. Okay, and you also referred to Michelle as an executive? Yeah, she's the executive in the ministry. What does that mean? Well, uh, she execute uh, all the departments and uh, make sure everything is running smoothly overall in all the countries and um, the states. So would she be the person that is um, supervising Deborah Frazier in her work? Yes. And Deborah Frazier is an unpaid Yeah, she's volunteer. a volunteer staff. Mm -hmm. So it would be Michelle that would be able to tell me what exactly Deborah Frazier does when she's in St. Louis? Yes. <coughs> okay. Do you have any plans to hire Deborah Fraser? Uh, yes, I really do. And what, tell me about those. Well, you know, we are a growing ministry and we're trying to establish um, more credibility on a massive scale with the bank for the I'm size sorry, of the, the vision, what? with the bank for the size of the vision we have. All right, so take me back there for a minute. You're trying to establish more credibility for the bank? Yes. What more, bank? Um, do I need to answer that? Or? If you can. Well, oh, yes. obviously he knows. Bank of America, you know. Um, and, of course, well, That's it, right? That's all you need to know. No, you. I asked you if you had any plans to hire Deborah Fraser, and your yes. response was you did. Yes, we that did. That you were growing, and that you needed to establish credibility with the Bank of America. Well, yeah, we're. I was trying to say that in reference to we're establishing things and growing, and when we are at the size that we can hire more people, she would be one of the ones we would do that. All right, so how, when you say you're growing, how do you count your size? What, what tool do you use? What um, variable do you use to demonstrate your size? Well, it's multiple variables. Okay. Variables. Okay. Um, Go ahead and t list them all. Depending on what area, if you're talking about in size to the amount of people we're reaching through television and Well, you radio. use that term you want to grow. So what are you referring yes. to? Well, I mean, you you asking a question uh, that uh, I think you're basically referring to the previous question. So you're talking about growing financially is one thing, growing inside. So it's different multiple variables. Okay, let's go that. through them. You go through each variable for me. When you say growing in size, what do you mean? Uh, well, like I say, that's multiple. Like it could be people. Okay, let's start with people. Yeah. So, what, so how do you count people? Uh, that's hard other than by television exposure, uh, the amount of responses through that. Um, 
the amount of countries we are allowed into. What countries are you in? Um, well, through media, we're in 192 countries. Say through what? Through media, we're in 192 countries. Tell me what that means. We're reaching 192 countries. How does, how do you do that? Through a television network. Is there a specific network you use? Uh, yeah, um, the Way TV out of California. The Way, W A Y. TV, yeah. In and California. Also internet live streaming. Um, how do you count how many people are doing that? Well, they have ratings and ways you can you can figure out. Who's I'm sorry, am I hitting you? Who comes on? You have ways to count. Uh, Vaguely, but not quite, not fully. But we we can see all the countries who are responding and all the people who are responding from different countries. And how do you see that? Uh, through web web analysis. Is there data available? Um, yeah, there should be. Yeah, there should be. Isn't that's mm -hmm. not something you look at? Oh, uh, yeah, I do look at it. So there is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should be. Mm -hmm. Should be or there is? There is. Okay, mm -hmm. so what do you look at to, uh, to discern how many countries are responding to you? Um, it's a web analysis they have. Who's they? Um, there's a web analysis named Get Clicky, that's one. Another one is Stat Counter. And I don't think neither one of them is totally accurate. But. And that tells you what information? I think they're accurate maybe 87, 89 percent. With what information? Uh, how the, the amount of people responding from different countries. Okay, what's your understanding the amount of people responding from different countries? Well, I know it's, it's in over 192 countries. No, I understand, but we're talking about people, not countries. You, you said you could tell how many people were responding. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, that's only through, you know, you can't always gauge by just someone responding because many people can be looking and they may not ever respond. So I, I can't really answer that question very accurately. You said you thought that these these web counter things were 87 to 89 percent accurate. Yeah. That's pretty specific. What does that yeah. mean then? Well, I mean, you know, you know, one of them may show that there's lesser amount of people on, and then the other, like one may show there's 8,000 people, the other may show there's 12,000. So I think it could be broke or some, it's not quite accurate, so. It, so Tell me if I'm wrong, does the whole world have 192 countries? Are there more than that that exist? Uh, I think there are a few more than that. Two, three? What you, well, I'm sorry, what are you saying? Two or three more? Isn't 192 how many what? there that exist? So are you saying you, you just stream TV programs to the whole world? Uh, not only that, you know, like I said, there's a TV network that uh, is reaching. That's what I'm talking too. about. Mm -hmm. So you're saying you use a TV network. And my own personal live streaming. So it's. What's it's, your personal live streaming? It's Joshua Media Ministries dot org on our website. Say that again. Joshua Media Ministries dot org on our website. Okay, and you're live streaming what? Services. To whom? Just on, on the Anybody internet? Who, yeah. Mm -hmm, who will watch. And how many, do you do that daily? Not daily, no. How often? If I have a service um, in some places that is capable of live streaming, live streaming like we are here in Taylor. So you live stream out of Taylor and mm -hmm. where else? Anywhere. They may have T1 line. Or they okay, just give me an it. example of other places you have done live streaming out of. Um, St. Louis, if I'm in a church that has the, the uh, setup for that. Okay. Uh -huh. Where else? Um, 
it varies. I can't tell you. It, it, it just varies if that pastor or bishop has the, um, has the uh, setup for that. Well, just give me an example of a pastor or bishop or a church where you've live streamed out of, um, other than Taylor. Um, where else? It's been so many places. Um, um, it's just that I let my my staff handle that, so I I'm trying to I don't. Have well, don't all you the go details. to them? Oh, I'm there ministering, but I can't I can't possibly do everything, you know. But you you said there are so many places that we have done that. But from, you can't give the me past. the. Excuse me. Let me remember. finish my question. Oh. You said there are so many places, but you can't give me the name of any bishop or church from which you have live streamed. Let me finish. Louis. Let me finish. Okay. So many places, but you can't give me the name or address of a church or a bishop that you have live streamed from. I just gave you one, but like I said, which one? I am not the one in St. Louis. Abundant Life Fellowship. Okay, other than that. It okay, but like I say, I travel so much and I, you know, I don't know all the details. I have a staff to do that. If you want that later, I can give that to you. You can give me a so, list of the places you have live streamed. If if that's relevant. Do you think it's relevant? Y yeah, I'm, I'm asking the question. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you can provide. So the, the answer is no, I don't think it's relevant, but you can go ahead and answer the okay. question because I have a standing objection. <laughs> okay. But you're going to provide that to me then within the 30 days before the next step? Uh, yeah, I'll try to get some of those to you. Okay. <laughs> Subject to my objections. Yeah. You, now, when you live stream, you are giving um, speeches or whatever th uh, through the internet to an audience. Is that an accurate um, description? Mm, I don't know your terminology. Um, Use your own then. Yeah. I, I, I think it's teaching and preaching. Okay, and in this teaching and preaching, are you asking for money? Uh, we do take up an offering, a standard offering. What like does that every mean other we take up does. an offering? What does well, that mean? You're asking you, for money? You, have you ever been to church? Have you, are you asking for money? <laughs> I'm asking you, have you ever been to church? You don't get to ask me questions. Well, I'm it's trying to way. see. It doesn't work can that you, way. You're trying to get an understanding, right? So I'm trying to give you a reference point. I am asking. But if you don't go to church, it would be no reference point, right? I am asking yeah. what it means to take up an offering. What does that mean in your terms? Uh, have you ever been to a Billy Graham, Graham crusade? Sir, you don't I'm, ask I'm just me asking. questions. You don't get to ask me questions. Well, I mean, are you trying to understand what I'm saying? or? I'm asking you to explain it. That's what I'm trying to do. Describe it to the best of your ability. Okay, so. What does you know, that mean? It means to, um, to have a time where people are able to donate freely to the ministry. And you ask them to do that. Is that accurate? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this would be when you're live streaming in Taylor? Yes. Okay. Have you, in this live streaming, publicly indicated that you are trying to get a loan from a bank for JMMI? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what bank are you referring to? Well, anyone that will have the right interest rate. Have you made application? Yeah. Mm -hmm. From what banks? Um, I can't, I, I don't know, I can't give you all of them. It's been quite a few. So I have an administrative team who who's doing all of that work for me behind it, the scenes. Is that the administrative team with Michelle and those two other women? Yes, yeah, some of them and some others now. Who signs uh, the loan then, the loan I'm, note? I'm sorry. Who would sign it if you're, who, who makes the application? Let's start with that. Um, who signs the application? I'm, I'm sure it would be board members. Would that be, do that, is that understandable? Board you you don't know who signs the application for a loan? Board members. Are you on the board? Uh, yeah. 
Do you sign applications for loans? When needed. Anything when needed. Who's on the board? Um, I have um, Michelle Brannon. I'm sorry, say that again. Michelle Brannon. Brannon. Spell that Brannon. again. B R. Brannon. Mm -hmm. B. I gave it to you. I know I did. Yeah, you need to. Yeah. B R A. Same person we've been referring to yeah, throughout you, this deposition. You got no, I just, I, the way he said it, I thought he said Brennan. So it's the same person we've been talking about. I just uh -huh. referred to her as Michelle. I've met yes. her before, but I don't know her last name <coughs> yes. off the top of my head. Same the woman that was here today. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes? Okay. So Michelle Brannon is on the board? Yes. And who else? Um, Ashley Ware. The my same woman you just yes. referenced was on your, uh, your financial board? Yes. Marcia. Uh, Marcia. Um, Marcia who? Her last name is slipping me. Um, you don't know the last name of a member <laughs> of your board? Yes, I do. Um, 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 Marcia Stewart. Stewart? How do you mm -hmm. spell that? S T E W A R D. And she's on your board of directors? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And who else? Uh, myself. So there's four members on the board of directors? Mm -hmm. The answer yes or no? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. And Michelle Brandon is a paid employee? Yes. Ashley Ware, is she compensated? She's volunteer. And Marcia Stewart. Volunteer. Mm -hmm. And do all three of those women reside in St. Louis? Uh, yes. Is it possible that Marcia's last name may be McDonald? Yes, it is McDonald. It's not Stewart? No. It's not even close, is it? <laughs> nope. And you're saying that Marcia McDonald is a volunteer? Mm -hmm. You gotta answer yes or no. Yes. And mm -hmm. she's not compensated? No, she has a job. What's her job? She's a fireman. She's a what? Fire person, fireman. Fire, whatever, firefighter? If that's how you wanna call well, it. Well, I mean, she's not a man, so I think the, what we're for, is it a firefighter? It's a fire it's person. Just, yeah. It, it, you see, talking about like a firefighter? You can call her whatever you want. It. Well, I, no, I'm not going to call her anything. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure we're talking about the same thing. Yeah, I've already stated that. Employed by a city to fight yes, fires. Yes, fires. Okay, do you know what city? <laughs> St. Louis. <laughs> Amazing. In going through the um, <coughs> ledger, it appears that there are a lot of checks going to, is her name, her first name is Marsha, or La Marsha, which is it? La, La Marcia, Right. Which my, yeah, her name is La Marcia. So not <laughs> Marsha? No, not Marsha, no. La Marcia? La Marcia McDonald. But you pronounced it Marcia. No, Objection. I said Marcia. Th That's her time. nickname. It is Marcia or Marcia? Yeah, we don't call her by La Marcia, we call her Marcy. That's Marcy? what she goes by, yeah. Okay, so La Marcia, in looking at your um, ledger, mm -hmm. it looks like there are a lot of checks that are dispersed to La Marcia McDonald. Are you sure? Because I don't, I don't know that. I know she's able to sign checks to take care of bills and stuff like that. But for her to be getting that many checks, I don't 
I don't think who you're can reading sign that checks? Accurately. Who can sign checks? Board members. So those three women and you? The board. Those three women and you? Yes, the board. That's but that's who we're talking about, those three women. Yes, I gave them to you. <laughs> what is safe savings? Let the road's going. Safe savings? Mm -hmm. Are you saying savings? Is that Safe, what you refer? S A F E, savings. S A V I N G S. Um, the only savings I know about is my um, uh, account that I put money aside for, for the ministry to save finances so we don't spend everything. Is that something that's referred to as safe savings? Yes, I, I guess if that's on there, is that on there? No, I'm report. asking you if that's your terminology. Safe savings refers to the savings account. For and, and where what bank is that in? Uh, it should be Bank of America. Well, we got another bank too. What's the other one? Um, Cloverleaf. Who's that? Uh, it's a it's a smaller bank in a uh, in Illinois. What city is that? Uh, Illinois. What city? That's a state. You know what? I don't know. I really don't. How did you end up at Cloverleaf? Uh, through mutual connections with the VIP. With the VIP? What does that mean? Or the VP of what? the bank. I'm sorry. What's this person's name? Um, honestly, I don't know this name. Is this somebody that you have mutual connections with? No, my board has. Who, who on your board has a connection with the VP uh, there? Michelle. And what do you use that bank for? Um, we have um, a, a secure line of credit with them. And what's it secured by? Um, Will you um, phrase that a little bit more detail? You said you had a secured line of credit with that mm -hmm. bank, and I'm yes. asking you, what is it secured with? Um, I mean, with our own cash flow. That's not what a secured line of credit would mean. It's usually attached to some asset. No, it's not. Not really. You don't have to have that to have a secure line of credit. You don't. You have not pledged any collateral for this. That's what I'm saying. Cash is the collateral. And what cash are you referring to? Ministry cash to build a relationship with the bank. <coughs> so, do you deposit savings in this Cloverleaf Bank? Um, you know, I'm not sure. I have them taking care of a lot of things, so I don't Who's want to get you wrong. Like I said, I, my financial administration. All right, there, for example, on July 23, 2013, it says, I, I think it's La Marcia, mm -hmm. McDonald, uh, monthly safe savings, 3567000 dollars. $3, what, what is that? That's putting money aside from the account as money flows in to save. But why is Mar La Marcia McDonald's name referenced? I don't know. I, I, she's the one that takes the money and handles that. She's on the bank uh, card with Bank of America. On the bank card? Yeah, with Bank of America. What do you mean on the bank card? Well, you know, they give you debit cards and they also give you, the bank gives you um, if you are a signer on the account, you can, uh, you know, you have the power to sign for checks and to do things. So she has a debit card for the ministry. A ministry debit card. Okay. Then on August 1st, 2013, it just says La Marcia McDonald and... What are you referencing? The, the uh, ledger she gave us. What page? I, well, I'm doing it by date, so I said it by date. Okay, there's a page number on the bottom. Two. Okay. 
it references Le Marcia McDonald, $400 on August 1st, 2013. Another August 1st, 2013, $100. Um, then it says August 2nd, 2013, La, Mar La Marcia McDonald, Destiny's Hair, $50. don't know what that is. Would that be your daughter, Destiny? Um, um, that's her name, but I don't know why is that written like that. Does the ministry Plus, pay for her hair to be done? No. I pay for all expenses out of my own personal income. So I don't know how that's there. Um, is that ministry money flow or is that personal? It says JMMI down at okay, the right hand corner. Is that my personal life of income or is it? It's on the same page as. So personal savings. So you think personal expenses. All these are personal expenses. Well then This why? is not ministry. Okay, on, the, on that same page that, that page. I'm referencing, page two. Okay. On July 23rd, 2013, it says La Marcia McDonald Monthly Safe Savings, and you testified that was ministry. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't know exactly what you, now I have it in front of me. So this. If you one, look at page two. Yes, I okay, understand. And look at an entry July 23rd, 2013. Yes. And it says La Marcia McDonald Monthly Safe Savings, $3,567.02. Yes. This, That's this ministry, is, is it not? No, 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 no. Oh, this, it's not ministry? No, no. I thought, I'm sorry, like I said, you, I didn't know you were coming from this personal document. I thought it was a ministry thing. Well, isn't that started. ministry? You just no, talk, all of this is personal. Let me ask you, let me. It's personal. Let me ask a question. Okay. See, I have a savings Let account me for ask the ministry the question. and one for my person. Let me ask the question, okay? okay? Yeah. I referenced July 23rd, 2013, La Marcia McDonald, monthly safe savings. Yes. And you testified that that was money from the ministry that yes. went into a savings so you could build up cash. Yes, that was my fault, yes. Okay, for, so that yes. is on a document that you presented as a ledger that is is JMMI in the corner. Well, let's be clear that yes. the JMMI in the corner was produced by my office. This The JMMI was yes. something that we put on there to reference for our retrieval. Yeah, but Today? this says personal. Yesterday. So, so now that I know it's personal, now I can address this more accurately. I was wrong. I have a ministry account where we save money in our ministry, but I also have a personal account that any money that comes to me, I put aside a certain amount each month. What do you mean money that comes to you? Well, I get a salary. And uh, for a while, I, I my salary was bigger, uh, 70000 a year, but then I uh, cut that in half to about thirty to 27,000. Well, here. this reference for July 23rd, 2013 that says La Marcia McDonald monthly safe savings. Yeah, she's she's over some of my personal affairs in taking things out and adhering to kind of some of the things I want done with my account. So that's what that means. This is not none of this is uh, ministry. This is all personal. Well, then I don't no. have the ministry's Ledger. He's saying this is personal. Oh, you, the ministry is in the back. I can see that now. Um, so you're saying you personally. These first few let, pages let me, sir, are personal. Let me, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that this entry of safe savings that you previously identified as something for the ministry is actually your personal savings? Uh, yes. Yes. Exactly. And when it's you personal. say when you come into money, you say ha you have a salary. Well, come into money. That's the yeah. That's what you a term you use. When I come into I mean, money. No, no. When I get paid a paycheck. Okay. You understand what that means about a paycheck? A paycheck. If I get a salary that's seventy thousand dollars a year, then what I'm was your able salary to take in more. Um. I don't know because we made adjustments. Uh, you don't know what you earned in 2013? Not, not fully. I, I know I started cutting things in half, so. 
I want to be accurate, but I can get all of that information for you. It's proprietary, so it's I'm not. I'm sorry? I said I can get all that information for you. It's proprietary. Proprietary? What does yeah, that proprietary have to do? What information. do you mean by that? It's open. That's not what that you word should means. Know. Well, it don't matter. You know what I mean. No, uh, no, I don't. That's what you I'm asking you. You do know what you. I mean. Because you, you defined it. So if you know what the sentence means, let's just move on. Let's not be children. Uh, um, I, I think that you understand what I'm trying to say. I, no, I don't, sir. That I, I everything do not. is, whatever I have, you can have. It, it's not a problem. About my Kayla, salary. Let's proceed with questions and answers. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if there are uh, ministry ledgers produced or if it's just all personal. Well, if you really... I don't think you've really had a chance to look at everything. No, I have looked at some, but not. I know, so I can kind of see you're a little off by this like because this for these first um, few pages is personal, and I'm sorry. And then down here is ministry, so it's all together. But there's you, a part that's you, personal um, and a part that's. Um, can you uh, mark that? Uh, ministry. And you see this part personally. Do you, you want to see that? It's a W-2. Oh. I don't know if I care. Can you identify that document that's marked as Exhibit 2? Um, yes. And what is it? It's a W-2. For whom? Me. Myself. And it, your name is listed as what? David Taylor. And what year is that for? 2013. And how much is the W-2? 27K. 27,000 even? Yes. Okay. If I may have that. Mm -hmm. So is it your testimony that this W-2 uh, that you've identified accurately lists your wages from Joshua Media Ministry? Yes. And that's who issued, issued this W-2? Who issued it? Oh, I'm Joshua, sorry. Joshua Media Ministry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're saying from this $27,000 uh, salary, that reflects your salary? Yes. Yep, I think you probably have to yes. look. Okay. That these monthly safe savings of $3,500 plus. Is that every it, month? Hold on. No. Um, that those savings came from your salary? Um, well, it depends on the money flow. Like if my bills are lesser or higher in each month, I have more I can save. So I don't know if you're looking at $35,000 every month. Do it say every month on Well, if you, if you look at what I was referring to as page two. Okay. Uh, July 23rd, 2013, where you take out $3,567.02. And mm -hmm. that seems like a pretty specific amount. How yes. would that be arrived at? You know, I'm, I'm, because she's over that, because I really don't know. Because she's over that? Yeah, she's over this part of it. I don't know. I see what's being written here, but I really need them to help answer this, you know, for Do you me. have a, a bank statement that shows where that would have gone into? Oh, yeah, all of this. Can you, That's why it's will you produce your bank statements that we asked pursuant to the subpoena? Of course. Okay. That would be great. Um, well, wait a second. I want to be clear. The bank statements you requested were those that reflected um, monies from Deborah Frazier. Are you asking for something different now? Well, 
I, I'm not sure Mr. Taylor can explain to me if this is ministry money or his personal money. That seems to be some confusion. Well, no, he not. said he this can't. This is personal. Well, I mean, from what it looks like, it, but I can't fully answer because I don't have the person who who handles all my. Could, well, things. can you talk to her between now and the next deposition I sure can. to kind I of can do refresh that. your memory? And we can answer that for you. Okay. Um, I don't understand why that's. Um, this is in microprint. I'm trying to read something. It, look at um, that page one of that that document we were reviewing before. Okay. Um, you know, I'll just have Which all of this mark so we're clear. This is a proposed uh, deposition exhibit three. It is part of what you handed me as the ledger. Okay. And page numbers one through 11 that go from July 1, 2013 to uh, November 8, 2014. And do you see what I'm referring to? It starts with a uh, beginning balance of July 1, 2013, and it says $1,496.42. Are you looking at that same document? What page would you say? The top no. page. Okay. And where? I'm just trying to Up identify here? that we're all looking okay. at the same thing. Yes. Okay. And it says $1,496.42. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Is this, this is Joshua Ministries, isn't it? No, this is personal. It's personal? Yeah. Okay. So this is personal and, sorry, I may have to take a moment. Um, if you give me a second, this is very um, small print. Yeah. All right, look at July 15, 2013. It says okay. JMMI DES colon payroll, and then it lists your name, and it says $5,000. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. And then the next page on date, July 31st. Uh, let me see. There's a $5,000 line that says JMMI salary. Do you see that? Um, where's that? One more time. July 31st okay, on yeah, page I see that. two. Mm -hmm. JMMI salary, $5,000. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. August 15th. Okay, I've got to place the same objection on the record that Mr. Jenkins placed earlier. This is clearly your client is in part conducting this deposition, and this is not appropriate. He's it's directing me, I'm going to give you an explanation. He's directing me to the microprint that is very difficult to read of the documents he's that you gave me well after, excuse me. whispering the questions in your ear and no, you're he's asking me the questions. No, that's not accurate. Him. He's showing me what line. I can hear him. I'll place the same objection. He's that's directing fine. the deposition. He's directing the questions. He's conducting the inquiry. That's your job. Now. August 15th, 2013, the line says Joshua Media Ministry, same thing, DES, I don't know what that means, payroll, David Taylor, and it's another $5,000. Just circle it. Mm -hmm. I'll go through it. Um, Five thousand dollars for uh, payroll. Okay. Now, would you acknowledge that's a payroll payment to you? Yeah, but some of this, the way they they have this factored in here, is I get housing allowance under the. Um, the ministerial thing. Under the ministerial thing. I don't yes. know what that means. Yeah. You, well, you have to study like uh, 
church law, tax law, that kind of stuff. But, but the, the thing is, uh, at one time, they were just giving me the p total payroll check of 5000 I think, um, every semi-weekly. And I was paying um, out of that my, um, the, you know, all the expenses. So you acknowledge Instead that of it just going, instead let, of the let ministry paying. Let me ask you a paying, question. Yep. You were receiving $5,000 in salary checks, it looks like, twice a month. Mm -hmm. Is that yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, as your compensation for Joshua Media Ministries, is that accurate? Yes. And yet in that same year, your W-2 shows, what was it, $27,000? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you see a discrepancy between? No. Objection to the form of the question. He's answering the question to the best of his ability, but he's yes. not a CPA. I didn't finish not. the question. Mm -hmm. Do you see a discrepancy? Question I didn't mark. finish it. No, you interrupted me. Okay. I, I didn't finish the, didn't finish my, the my question sentence. and wait for me. Okay. Um, do you believe that the, the uh, W-2 is consistent with this ledger that shows you were paid uh, $5,000 twice a month? Objection calls for speculation. He's not an accountant. We already testified he's not the financial person. This is the JML MMI way of accounting. If you have specific questions for the financial uh, team or the CPA, then you can contact them and schedule a deposition. He's answering to the best of his ability. Okay, he can still answer the question. Th this is your personal ledger. Is that right, sir? Yeah, but I'm okay. not. No, no, I'm not sir. The I'm just asking you. Yeah. Is it your personal ledger? It is reflecting your finances. Yes. That you provided pursuant to the subpoena, pursuant to this deposition, of and the course. court order. Yes. Okay, and you're now saying you don't what understand why it lists five thousand dollars twice a month? Because I don't handle the finances. You don't handle your own finances? Mm -hmm. I really don't. I have people who do that for me. So when you get a salary check, you you're you have no idea anything about it. I know I've set up a, a team that does it for me. And so I, some of these questions I just can't, I can't answer um, because of the way they have it flowing here. I, I, I can't. So will you um, present Michelle Brannon for a deposition so that she can answer these questions more accurately? Um, what do you feel? You're the lawyer. If you want to subpoena her for a deposition, I'm, I'm asking if he's willing to produce her. Oh, we're, uh, what do you feel? If you properly subpoena her and serve her with a notice, so you're not going to produce will, her voluntarily. Oh, that's the question. You're going to produce her voluntarily so that can she can answer We discuss this these off questions? the record. Mark this, please. Uh, what are we up to? Four? Okay. That's it. Um, I'm going to show you what's marked as deposition exhibit number four, which is the 990 form for the Department of Treasury for the return of an organization exempt from income tax, which your attorney presented to me today. Can you? Identify that. It, well, I just. I'm sorry. Yeah. Can you identify so that as the return for JMMI? Yes. All right, mm -hmm. and right there. Um, on page 11 of this tax return. Can you read line one across, please? Yes. Hmm? You want this? One hundred. No, read, read what it says across the whole line. Oh, David E. Taylor, CEO. Okay, and, and then what's the next? Uh, Forty dollars. Right? Or 40, yeah, 40 dollars. 
That's a, okay. Read what's above it and then what? Oh, okay. All right. Um, average hours per week. List any hours for related organizations below dotted line. And what does it say below that? 40 hours or 40. Okay. Rep representing or referring to 40 hours? Yeah, I guess. Okay. And what's the next block? Um, position, do not check more than one box unless person is both an officer and a director trustee. And what's listed below that? Um, individual trustee, individual trustee or director, officer, key employee. No, I, I'm sorry. I, okay. What I want you to do is to indicate where it's marked by an X as being applicable to you. Okay. Yeah, so X in individual trustee or director, uh, key employee, and highest compensated employee. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then under subdivision D, tell me what that says and what's reported for you. Um, reportable compensation for the organization, uh, 118000 $916. So <coughs> JMMI Ministries reported your income on their tax return as $119,000. Um, you know, I can't answer accurately about this, but I do know that all of this is not just personal income. It's um, uh, allowances that go to other things. So they were at first giving me money, but we were paying all what the ministry was supposed to pay under that code of ministry standards. So I think our CPAs taught them a, a more accurate way to do it. And so I think um, um, there was some kind of change. So I don't, I don't know. I can't accurately speak, but I think you, you would need to talk to my financial board because they, all of this is, um, accurately written down, so. I thought you just said that there were changes and it doesn't it really reflect, reflect it. No, there were changes, but I can't tell you all those things, so. It so, would be better for you to try to, you know, better well, just well, get that. Well, you're the CEO of, of the ministry. Yes, I am. Who signs the tax <coughs> return? Well, uh, the tax returns. Right. Um, what tax returns? That tax return. Who signs it? Do you sign it as CEO? Um, I think that I do. I, I, I'm not quite sure about all of that. You don't know if you sign a tax return? No. The only tax return I know I sign is my personal. So who would sign <coughs> the JMMI tax return? I mean, obviously it would probably be a, the board member or myself, but I, I can't remember doing it. I think that someone on the board does it. Who would because that be? the board, well, I don't know. I can't tell you we have more than one board person. All right, so you're saying <laughs> that you don't think that one's accurate then because it reports 119,000 and that you think they redid I, it. I didn't say it was not accurate. I just said I don't, I can't give you accurate information. And I, instead of in front of this deposition trying to explain some I don't know, I'd rather for to just let you know I don't know because I have other people doing this for me. So the way they may be it, doing this may be, it's all legitimate, but the way they have it set up is the way they are um, doing it the best of their ability, so. It's not clear if these are the tax returns that were actually submitted based on his testimony. So I need to be able to ask him if these tax returns were, who they were signed by and if they were actually submitted because his testimony would seem to be that some of this was corrected and none of it are signed and he can't tell me who signed it. So I have no idea if it's the tax return or a draft. Yeah. So can we get a tax return that he will be able to state under oath is the tax return that was filed? He or somebody in his organization, yes. yes. Okay, so I'll be able to get, well I'm sure he can as, as the CEO. Again, this is a right. deposition where you ask the deponent questions. If you want to have discussions <coughs> about 
No, I'm asking you on the record forward. because the documents that you presented. Okay. I'm not going to commit to anything on the record. We can discuss this off the record, and I will get you what is reasonably required. Okay, this was provided by court order and subpoena that I was to get it. And the problem is his testimony is indicating that he can't substantiate. I'm going to finish my sentence. I am going to finish my people. sentence before it, you interrupt. It was provided I, by other people at JMMI. Th not that's Pastor fine. David. So I am asking him in compliance with the court order and the subpoena, and you as his attorney, will you provide me with a tax return that should have been provided today that he can attest is the actual one that was submitted. Okay. Can you do that? And I'm telling you, we will provide you with the document. This is probably the one that was most likely the one that was filed. Well, he doesn't I, have personal knowledge of it. Well, he now, can all get that it. means is that you have the wrong deponent. No, it does not, because he was asked as CEO of JMMI <laughs> to produce these documents pursuant to court order. And the court order says he is to bring them. And he can't tell me that he brought the right stuff. So I'm asking you, are you going to give me the right information? Okay. We'll have this discussion off the record. No, I want to have it now. I want to know. I don't want to have to file I'm a motion and, and have we'll you. We'll have this discussion off you're the his, record. You're his attorney. Are you going to provide me what was supposed to be provided pursuant to the subpoena? Yes or no? It's real simple. you want to continue asking the deponent questions, or are you going to ask me questions? Yeah, I want an answer to that one. Are you saying you won't tell me that whether or not you'll provide it? I'm telling Is that, you. Just yes or no? Are you telling me you're not going to do it? Record. No, I didn't say that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go there. Excuse me, my throat's giving out. Yeah, the exhibits I need back. Uh, okay. That's my. Oh, this. Okay. This way. I think that's ours if I wrote on it, can I see? No, no that's, that's yours. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is yours here? Yeah. Okay. No, I think they're fine. duplicates. Okay. Yeah. All right, so what is your salary at JMMI now? From what I know, I'm, I'm... From what you know? Yeah, I think it's around twenty-seven to 30000 something like that. And what expenses are you saying that JMMI pays on your behalf? Um, well, it's the expenses under the law for clergy. So, so what are they? I don't know. You have to go research that. I, no, I can't tell you. No. I, I, don't I don't know everything. There is no research I can do that will tell me what JMMI is paying for you. Well, what I'm saying is we abide by those laws, so that's that's where it would be. So oh, no, no, it's sir. I'm just saying I can't tell you. I don't know. You have no idea what expenses JMMI pays for. I know a housing you. allowance. I How know much that. is that? Um, I'm not sure. Don't know. What other allowance? Um, there's. I, I don't want to misstate, so I, I, I don't know. I'd rather for someone who's professional tell you about that. Well, no, I'm asking about your personal, not in theory. What but some, you're asking no, about sir, ministry let me stuff. Let me finish. I'm answering let, you. No, don't, don't interrupt. Let me finish the question. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. asking what personal allowances JMM Ministry provides you or stipends for uh, housing or, or automobile or whatever. What do they provide you? You know, I... I know there are many allowances, but one that I can say is housing allowance. But in order for you to get the accurate names for what they allow, you have to talk to a professional. Because I, I don't want to give you misinformation. No, I'm not asking in theory what is possible. I'm asking what actually JMMI provides to you. Objection I asked and answered and he said you. he doesn't it's know. Not, it's no. non-responsive. I just don't know. I'm just telling you the okay. truth. Okay, well that's an answer, but that's not what you told me before. Um, do you know if they that's pay any true. of your auto expenses? Um, yes, the, the, car, the cars are in the ministry's name. They, they all belong to the ministry. What so cars that, are those? that is not 
I pay for my own my own car. Wh what's out your of my car? Own, uh, Range Rover. And is that leased owned? It's uh, leased. I mean, it's not leased, but it's um, I bought it to pay it off in five years. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's subject to a lien, but you purchased it. Uh, I'm sorry, a lien. Are you are you, you owe on it? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you did not lease it. No. And is that what you drive in uh, St. Louis? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who drives the Bentley? Mm, my driver. Who's your driver? Um, I have a number of drivers. So you would say um, James or Cliff. Uh, and they're responsible for picking up our, um, our guest in those cars that fly in for meetings and things like that. And the same thing with the 2007 Mercedes-Benz? Yes. 2008 BMW? Yes. Are those owned outright or subject to any kind of loan? Uh, they're owned. Outright? There's no loan on those? No. Okay. When you come to Michigan, mm -hmm. um, do you generally fly here? Yes. And who picks you up from the airport? It varies, different staff. So it could be anyone. Could be a volunteer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Has Mrs. Frazier ever picked you up from the airport? No. Have you ever been driven around in Mrs. Frazier's car when you've been in Michigan? Um, no, I, I rent a car when I'm here. You've never been driven around in M Mrs. Frazier's car? I don't think I have, not that I can recall. I usually rent my own vehicles here or have my own vehicles driven up here. From where? From Missouri. For the weekend? No, I mean, I may stay here seven days or maybe 14 days, but because there's so much wear and tear, I just rent a car while I'm up here. Or the ministry provides a rental car for me, like we have now. Um, you've been seen being driven around in Mrs. Frazier's car that is identified as her car with her license plate. Really? Objection. Is this, and is this a question? I, I, yeah. He interrupted me and so did the two of you. There's no question. I didn't finish yeah, I the sentence. You've I, been seen being driven around really? in Mrs. Frazier's car with her license plate, okay. specifically in Taylor. You arrived in that car okay. at uh, one of your events there. Do you not recall that? Um, Go ahead. I, I don't. I don't. I mean, we, I thought it was a rental car because we rent cars all the time, rent SUVs, so it, it probably could have been our car. I don't know. I don't know all the details that go on when they pick me up in what car or what. I, I'm just, that's not something I detail. So you don't know whose car it is that's being, that you're being driven? Because Jackson asked and answered. Now you're being argumentative. He answered the question and said he didn't know. You don't know what person's car you're being driven in? Asked we have and room. answered. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I, but you, st you can still answer. Rental cars. That's what we get. Rental SUVs. Rental most of the time. I mean, when I'm up here, all the time, actually, from what I know. So if I was driven in a car, I wasn't paying attention to that. It wasn't like oh, this is her car, because I usually we have our own rental things here. Have you ever been to Debbie, Debbie Frazier's residence? No. Do you know where she lives? No. Do you know if any members of your staff or your flock, as it's been referred to today, do you know if any of them have been to Mrs. Frazier's residence? Yes. Well, and who sure was there? I don't know. I can't tell you. What do you use flock today? Not on the record. No. It doesn't I, matter. That was the term that was used. Well, not that I heard. No, I, I heard it. I took note of that. All right, so you know that there have been other staff or flock members. Um, they fellowship with each other, yeah. Okay, so tell me what you know about that. That's all I know, that they sure. just know each other. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, what do you know about that? 
That's all I know. That what they what just do you fellowship. know? Tell me what. What do you, does that? What does that mean? That fellowship they, with like each a other. normal person meet up and they go out to eat or like with the with the staff. I mean, that's all I know. Well, I was talking about Mrs. Fraser's house, and you said you were aware that staff members have or visited and been there. Yes. Okay. Have they I spent mean, the night? To your knowledge? Uh, I think they have. I, I mean, from what I've known, they have spent the night, but. Um, I don't know the extent, you know, I'm not into all that. Has business. Michelle spent the night there? Um, not that I know of. She used to stay in a hotel from what I know. W when she comes to Michigan? Mm -hmm. You yes. have to answer yes or no. Yes. yes. Um, and you're saying you've never gone to Mrs. Frazier's residence? No, I don't know where she stays. Okay. Do you know who from the fellowship, uh, or, you know, in these fellowship gatherings, who specifically has gone there? Um, no, I can't say. I, I really can't. You don't know any of the names of the people that have been in fellowship with her at her house? I think more of my staff would know that information. I just know I've heard that people have. So. It, what's your understanding of how many people would go there to her house? Maybe one. With, Pardon me? Maybe one or two. I, I, for one or I know, two? Have visited. Have visited. I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear Maybe you. one or two have visited. Or some. Do you know how how many occasions? Uh, no, Objection. I don't know. He's asked and answered these questions. He I don't know. know. No, he hasn't answered them. I don't. Um, he has no personal do comment. you know if anybody from your your ministry and who mm -hmm. you know volunteer, paid, board, flock mm -hmm. members, whoever, any of those folks have ever spent the night at Mrs. Frazier's residence? Not that I know. I don't know anybody personally. I mean, my staff would know more about that. So you just don't have knowledge of that? No, I've never been to a house. I don't make it my business to go to places like that. Be involved personally. What is your educational background? Um, High school diploma, bachelor's degree, right, hold on, let's uh, associate's bachelor's. Okay, high school from where? Uh, uh, Southside High School in Memphis, Tennessee. Southside High, high. School, Memphis, Tennessee? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that where you grew up? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, next? Um, and Johnson and Wells University, Culinary Sh Arts. Hold on. Johnson, Johnson and Wells and Wells University. Culinary Arts. Where was that? Uh, in South Carolina, a and remote uh, base. And what year was that? 1992. Yeah, 92. Were you? Yeah, from, the, from 90, 91 till, from 90 to 92. That's and when you went to school there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you receive any kind of degree, certificate? Yes. What would yeah. it be? Associate's degree in culinary arts. And did you work in that capacity? Yes. Anywhere? Mm -hmm. And where did you work? Um, just different restaurants uh, as, a, as a chef, as a cook. And how long did you work in that capacity? For about, well, started before school, so uh, before I graduated. So, from the time I was 16 till um, to 92, 91, something like that. I thought you said you got your degree there in 92. So I you didn't did. work anymore in that industry after you got your degree? Well, maybe a little, but that's when I went full-time ministry when I was 19 years old. And where did you go for full-time ministry? Um, nowhere. I didn't go to school for full-time ministry. I just started doing ministry full-time. Okay. What does that mean you started doing ministry? Tell me what that means. Well, I mean, um, well, full-time means you give up your career to serve the Lord and to preach the gospel around the world. In okay, uh, we go off the record for a second. 
Off the record at five point.